Hi everyone, it is Ragarath here, and I've come out today with just this short video because Firehose Games has just released a new video uh, on their upcoming quality of life updates, and so I want to watch it through with you and explain a few things and just showcase what's up and coming. One thing I'd like to say is that Firehose Games are very responsive to all of our feedback. So if you join their Discord, then you know you can join in that discussion and help them to improve their game. So they've been listening a lot to people playing the early access. And before they release any new upcoming content, they really wanted to get some of these quality of life updates out. So they, they've been working hard on them. The recent patch... 0.1.0f included a few updates uh, like music volume that was uh, really bad so let's let's have a listen and see what joey's got to say about what's coming up hey folks it's joey from firehose games i'm here with another update for tectonica this week's update might be a little bit shorter than the last one but not a whole lot shorter than the last one Here's my agenda. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. The soundtrack, um, updates that are coming, updates that have happened already, and also a new role on the Discord for players who are feeling extra supportive. Um, Lauren would be mad at me if I didn't mention the soundtrack first because that's what she told me would happen. <laughs> the soundtrack is available right now on more than just Steam. Um, it's on Spotify and other streaming services. Yeah, if, you, if you buy the soundtrack, else, guys, you know, it helps to fund um, development of the game. We are so it'd be going awesome. to retain Go ahead, its availability that. on Steam. We know that not everyone subscribes to these services. So if you like owning your music digitally through MP3 or I think the mb3 format maybe flack eventually that's on steam um, but if you are a, a streaming user gonna do flack too, you'll good. find it on the streaming service of your choice um that's official now so in addition i wanted to talk about the updates of the last week so 0.1.0 f dropped on tuesday this update included a lot of different stuff um it was another the community feedback focused updates and it had some bug fixes and then easy tweaks that we can make on the way to 0.1.1 which is our quality of life update um, some of the tweaks include like uh, increased music volume speaking of music you can always turn yeah, that that's down that's what the i slider, mentioned earlier um, another is a, a fix to the the beacons as related to doors oh, yeah, so in the our beacons game, were annoying. if you follow quest lines you'll eventually find door signals and a big beacon appears on your screen you walk to the door you get there and then it's like I need, I don't know, 50 coolant systems or whatever. So you go back to your factory to make it. Stupidly, um, that would remove the beacon from your screen. And then you're just like, yo, where's that door? I have no idea. Uh, I, I say stupidly because I think this is an oversight on our team, right? Like we made the level. We knew where all of the doors were, um, like at all times. And so we were just didn't even think that we would need the beacon. It just didn't occur <laughs> yeah, it to makes us. sense. I, so I just kind of re remembered them in my head, the to be honest. Like um, weeks time. So thank you for your patience. Very for useful to add You can that. turn it on and off by ticking the button in the journal screen for the quest line. While I'm on the journal, real quick, um, I've noticed a lot of players that just have packed tasks and tip screens. You can reduce the amount <laughs> yeah. of tasks and tips. I did this recently. By opening I, up the journal I just left it all up. It didn't bother me having them in the corner. Whichever one want to be visible, and all the others you can hide. I typically run with only one task, um, so that's just a, a way to kind of declutter the UI, which again is a work in progress. Um, additionally, with 0.1.0f. We got rid of Sparks' voice line where she pushes you towards bio prick, prick production like really early. Yeah, I pushed uh, into bio This is kind of an oversight early. again. It's one of those things where we didn't really tune for players to really get in and master bio brick production right away. And it's, it's, it's a mid to late game fuel source when you should probably just be using Kindle Vine stems at that point. Don't get me wrong. I yeah. love the potatoes and I think they do. Yeah, I'm just going to pause there and just say that, yeah, I, I when building, I felt pressured into going towards biobricks and in the alpha biobricks were reasonably easy to do but with the new crafting system the biobricks are a bit harder and i found that when i was using just the kindle vine stems i was able to fuel everything quite easily but now that i'm trying to put it all into biobricks everything's running out of fuel so yeah, don't, don't push into them too early, guys. ...really well at fueling all the stuff. But you don't need to go nuts on those threshers and planners in order to figure out what's going on so early. I mean, it was kind of a heavy lift for players, and we, we get it. Um, 
I also can confirm officially that 0.1.1 and 0.1.2 are happening. We are taking the quality of life update and splitting it in two. We've got two. enough feedback from you folks that, that are really validating a lot of our quality of life concerns that we think like, okay, before we make it to 0.2, let's address some of these other things. Um, again, the in-game metrics are coming at 0.1.1. Uh, that's still slated for mid to late August. The metrics that are coming will probably roll out over the course of long, metrics longer term will be UI awesome. updates. But at the first one, you'll be able to... Uh, I'm going to pause again there. Um, they do have metrics at the moment. Uh, so if I bring up Tectonica, I do have it open. Um, and uh, if you uh notice when you're looking at a machine you've uh, done the bottom left over there you have no idea what speed it's working at how many it produces per cycle etc and again if you go into the uh, actual inventory of it itself it also doesn't have it you can get this information though if you go into the uh, data bank you know you can select uh whatever you're looking to make and you'll see down here in the bottom right you've got statistics um not for that <laughs> that's uh not one that we'll be making it helps if i choose something useful yeah and so for example on the long inserter here you've got how many cycles per minute it does in the data bank here but funnily enough not everything has this. Not not everything has the cycles that it is doing. So you've got the cycles for assembler and smelter and all the, the, the main stuff. So you can work out most of it, but not everything is in there yet. For example, if you were making, I don't know, uh, beacons, it doesn't tell you your beacon stats. Uh, it tells you the stats of you know the range that you can see the beacon at and how many years it lasts which is really really useful but not the essential stats for a factory game which you want to know which is how long it takes to make something and how quickly it is being produced anyway let's uh, go back and see we, the rest of what joey has to say able to see when you look at a machine those metrics so right now if you look at a working machine in the bottom left corner you'll get like a, a, a status yeah so this is what i was talking about just a second ago so the smell turtle you know, show you the, the, the stuff in the bottom left that helps you when you're just it. taking a glance um, at the machine but you don't have it anywhere else will also be available in machine too but these will improve over time uh, this is just kind of the first go around so you'll see uh, a little bit of, of more of the quantities and the items per second in those like bottom left hand corner status screens um, in 1.1, one, one, we're also going to be introducing more audio sliders, including the UI, that big warb warb erase sound. You'll be able to turn that up and down as you please. Um, and we're also going to be tweaking bio brick production and progression. So that whole system is going to be so, gently overhauled in the oh, coming Oh, so they're going to change months. perhaps the um, recipe? For 0.1.2, I'm not ready to share what's in there yet. Uh, we have enough tasks, the way we to have build a rough them? idea of what we're including, but I don't want to make promises and I don't want to start pointing towards things and them not be fully decided on. Um, all these updates are going to be made in the roadmap on our Steam page. If they're not already there, they will be. You'll see that the roadmap should reflect uh, 0.1.1 and 0.1.2. Um, and then of course 0.2, the base building update, is still slated as the second major content update for the game. So that's it for this week's update. Told you it was a little bit shorter. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for all of the feedback. It means a ton. Um, in case you want to help us a little bit more on the Discord, you can. Lauren introduced a role called Groundbreaker Support. Hop onto the Discord. If you see people with that orange or bronzish color, um, these are people that we've identified as exceptionally knowledgeable about Tectonica and willing and able to help others as they join the server and maybe have some questions that a quick look at the game's menu can't really solve. Um, you might see a lot more of these folks that come from our alpha period. Those folks are like really intimate with the game and have like hundreds and hundreds of hours already. Um, some of them even close to a thousand. Mm -hmm. So Lots don't be surprised time, if you see an orange name pop in and answer a question. If you want to be in part of in Groundbreaker support, you can. Um, just let us know. Reach out to me or Lauren. And if we see that you're someone that answers a lot of questions on the Discord and is super supportive, we'll add you in. 
So thank you. Thank you for hanging out. out. Find us on Discord at discord.gg slash tectonica and let us know how. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a few um, things that Firehose are working on. They are really responsive to everything, guys, and they're really open about it as well. Um, Everyone interacts on Discord. Jump on and have a look. And, uh, well, thanks for watching this, and I hope it's uh, giving you an insight into some stuff that is uh, coming up. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.